Hey there planners, today I'm going to be sharing and flipping through my 2024 faith journal. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. So my faith planner or faith journal is something I touch every single day. And this is something I wanted to really be thoughtful and purposeful and intentional about in 2024. And I am so excited to share with you what I have chosen to go with for next year. Before I dive right in, I do want to say welcome to those of you who are new to Planning Annie. If this is your first time on the channel, we are so glad you're here. Here at Planning Annie, we are a tribe of planner enthusiasts. We love our planners, our planner systems. We love being productive. We love getting things done. We love checking things off that to-do list. We also love the creative aspects of journaling and using mixed media and all the stationary supplies. So if that sounds like something that you enjoy too, we do hope that you'll consider subscribing, become part of our tribe, jump down in the comments below. There's always a good discussion going on down there. For those of you returning, I'm so excited that you're here and I'm really excited to share my faith journal with you all. So I'm using the term journal intentionally. I am going to be using what is traditionally thought of as a planner for 2024, but I am not using it like a planner. I am using it like a journal. First of all, let me talk about the cover. This is a gorgeous A5 Moterm notebook cover. I've had this for a couple years and I've used this before. I absolutely love this. This, it feels great. Moterm is very reasonably priced in comparison to other uh, planner cover, uh, you know, leather, leather brands um, and they hold up really well. So this has been in my um, collection for several years now and it's done great. So inside the cover, I have everything set up to do some really great faith planning this year. So let me talk about um, what I have going on in the pocket situation and then we'll get into the actual planner. So really pockets are very much decorative for me here in my faith journal. I'm not going to be doing a lot of, you know, functional things in here. So I've just got sort of a collection of Bible verses and, you know, pretty things. Um, some of my favorite uh, reminders of scripture, things like that, some bows. Um, these bows are from Sweet Freckled Design. Um, and then I've, I made these cards and I've actually got a video about how I make planner cards. It's a very simple process. Um, I'll have that link down below in case you're interested. This planner is in an A5 clear cover um, that is a Midori cover. These work great on, on A5 planners and I've got some um, decorative like scrapbooking paper in there. Um, this is actually a 2024 uh, vinyl sticker from Virgo and Paper and I just got my little Ollie clip there in case I want to clip something to the front. And this planner is actually a Hobonichi cousin. So I could not resist. You'll see as I flip through, you'll begin to recognize the Hobonichi cousin um, on the inside. It is a Hobonichi cousin A5 planner for 2024. Um, I absolutely love Hobonichis and I'm always looking for a reason to buy a cousin. Um, I just love the cousin. It is a it is a mammoth planner, <laughs> but I thought because I spent a lot of time thinking about how I'm going to use it, and I thought because I'm not going to be using it like a planner, but I'm going to be using it like a journal, um, I think it's actually going to work out really well for me this year for what I need it for. Um, I have a video on 60 different ways that you can use all the different sections of the Hobonichi Cousin. I'll have that listed down below, but the ways that I'm using it, you will hear in that video because that was part of me thinking through um, how I can use the different sections of the cousin. So when you open it up, I did decorate the, um, the front pages that are on the front, uh, front section. I just covered them up with sticker paper. I printed this pattern out and covered, covered up those with sticker paper. Um, this is just faith over fear. That's what I'm going for, uh, going for this year. This is a vinyl uh, that I made myself in the Cricut and then another little card that I made myself. So I'm um, just sort of decorative here in the front. I did print out the 2024 
calendar stickers from Coffee Monster Co. Um, she actually offers these as a freebie on her Facebook group. So um, it's, they're really pretty and they have the birth flowers of every month and just really cute. And so I wanted to use those somewhere in my planner system this year and I thought this was a great space. I don't really have a plan for this year at a glance for this year. I, it's just going to be decorative and reference only. Um, this is the page of the Hobonichi Cousin that has this year, and then at the top it has last year, and at the bottom it has the next year, the year ahead. I actually just covered all of that up with, um, with a sticker. Um, I printed this on sticker paper. Everything you'll see in here, unless I, you know, unless it's like this where I actually got it from somewhere, these are things I made in Canva um, or, you know, found and found in Canva and printed. So this I made in Canva and um, printed it on sticker paper and just put it there. This section. So this is this is like the yearly index section where you have um, six months here, six months there. What I have done here is put in scripture reading based on a read through the Bible in two years plan. Um, and I'll have the plan listed down below. It, it comes from the Bible app um, and um, it's just a, a Bible reading plan. I knew I wanted to, uh, reading through the Bible in a year is a little bit too aggressive for the amount of studying, uh, scripture study I like to do and note taking and, you know, really delving into contextual information and, you know, the original language, all of that. I really like to get into the study aspects. So going through the Bible in a year is a little too aggressive. So this is actually the Bible in two years and it's much more manageable in the content. So I have that listed down below, but basically I have the scriptures that I'm supposed to read every day and I will come in here and highlight them as I read them. The other sections, I've just got a little sticky note here to remind me of how I intended to use the other sections. This top part is I actually listen to um, a podcast that is going through, you know, verse by verse, book by book through the Bible um, and with some commentary. And um, I will list here what books that I'm actually listening, listening to um, on that podcast each month. I listen to that in the morning when I'm getting ready um, for work or for the day. And so, or, you know, in my commute, things like that, I listen to that. So I will actually list, use this space up here to list that. And then down here at the bottom, I plan to just put um, like a key verse. Uh, one of the verses that stood out to me that month from my Bible reading, I'll put that down here at the bottom. So that is the plan for this section. And you can see um, there are some like, catch up days um, that, you know, are, are in the plan, which I absolutely love. By the end of this year, I will be uh, through almost all the way through Isaiah. Um, so that's kind of the f half, the first half of this reading plan will get me from Genesis through Isaiah. So um, that's how I'm going to be using this. I did use Avery tabs and just put my own little label on there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it a little closer. So I've just got a label on there that says daily bread and I use my label maker to make that. <laughs> so um, I'll, I'll keep this here because again, I'll be coming to this every day um, when I'm doing my reading. And I um, do the scripture study first thing in the morning. I get up really early and um, that's my um, scripture study time. And so I will be coming to this every single day. Um, all right, these next two pages were an extra month. So um, I, it actually starts for me in January. The month of December is included. I wanted to have a place to put my goals in this planner because I feel like it's important to include my goals for the year in my faith planner so that I'm sort of dedicating those goals and um, praying about those goals in, in this planner. My word of the year is actually renew. And so I love this Bible verse um, and wanted to have this Bible verse next to my goals. So um, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is Romans 12, 2. Um, and um, this is my word of the year. So I will, once I finalize my goals for 2024, I will come in and write them in here or print them and put them in here. 
And then we get into the monthlies. So I have used the Coffee Monster Co. Uh, Hobonichi Cousin Monthly Kits. Um, and they are really just very simple, very basic. I will not do anything else decorative to this page, uh, these monthly pages. The way I plan to use them is that this is my gratitude log. So I will come in every day and write something I'm thankful for or grateful for, a praise, um, something like that um, here on the monthly calendar. And then I've got a place for uh, prayer request things that I'm praying about um, over here I will keep a running list of things that I'm praying about I may do something down here with like a scripture I have been using in my current faith planner I have been writing um, a scripture about gratitude or gratefulness um, at the bottom of each uh, monthly calendar that I'm using for gratitude. I may do that here. I'm not 100% sure, but um, this is how I plan to use the monthlies. And I do have a tab that I'll move from month to month. And you can see I've just got them decorated with each of the kits from Coffee Monster Co. Now, they're only available through June. As we get into the year, she'll release the second half of the year, and I'll get those then um, and update. I did use sort of a corresponding Tombow, you can see, um, to highlight the actual days. Um, but this will be very simple, and I really won't do any more decoration to this. So let me get into the weeklies. I haven't done anything to the weeklies yet. I will start this week, the first week in January, but the way I plan to use these pages is um, kind of a mishmash. Um, I want to do some memory keeping in here, um, what actually happened. Um, I also want to do some journaling in here. I may, in some cases, write out prayers. This is a place where I'm probably gonna use sticker kits. Um, as you guys know, I love to print my own stickers so I can print them uh, down to the size that fits in the Hobonichi Cousin. Um, so I may use some sticker kits here, but this is really kind of a mishmash. It is not forward planning, meaning I'm coming in here and actually planning out what is going to happen in the day. It's all backward looking, so very much memory keeping um, or prayers. Um, journaling, things like that. So that is how I plan to use the weeklies. I just like to be able to look back here and say, you know, what happened and sort of have that ongoing conversation um, with, uh, through my prayers, you know, as I'm studying scripture. So that is going to be the weekly pages. Then we get into the back section and on the first, so you can see the last week is here. And then I took that first page and I actually put in um, this sticker, which I absolutely love <laughs> because I've got my book tracker here. So um, this is John 15, seven, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Um, so I've got a New Testament tracker and I cannot remember the shop that this came from, but I will have it listed down in the description box below. But these did come from a shop on Etsy as a printable. Um, I've got the New Testament tracker, which I will not get to in my Bible reading plan this year, but I am listening to the New Testament in my podcast. So I'll track the podcast that I'm listening to here. And then I've got the Old Testament here. And this is just some really pretty book washi um, from Simply Gilded absolutely love this book washi. So I will track books read and completed here so that I can see, you know, how, how far I made it. And then we get into the daily pages. I did use um, the Coffee Monster Co. tabs, the little tiny tabs. I also put a little piece of clear scotch tape over them just to reinforce them a little bit because they are just paper. Um, that seems to it's, they seem very sturdy now, so I think that will be fine. Um, I On each of the monthly pages, I put one of the uh, Coffee Monster Co. Uh, monthly headers, at least for the first six months. And the way I plan to use these pages, these daily pages, is notes from my scripture reading as I'm studying, uh, writing out longer prayers, um, journaling to the Lord, things like that. So this this will be all about my Bible study. Um, if 
I feel like I need more than one page, I will just turn the page and keep going. That is how I plan to use these and I think it's going to be really great to have all of this in one planner. So that's really all the setup I've done. In the back I have, um, I did go ahead and put some more sticker paper on the gray pages and this is just a little pattern, pink pattern. Um, I've got some sticky notes. Um, these sticky pockets actually come from Amazon. They come in this great big pack. Um, so I put some back here. I've got some sticky notes. I've got some of the um, some more of the Coffee Monster Co. stickers uh, with the birth flower on them. And then I've got a, um, a bookmark here that I can use for the daily pages too, um, or to mark any other section or to use this in my Bible. I've just got that back there. So that is my setup for my faith journal. Two things I did want to mention that I'm going to be using in this planner, which I think are absolutely adorable. This first one is a vellum. I've already cut it in half, but it comes like this. Um, and it just says, too blessed to be stressed. I think it is absolutely adorable. It is from Sweet Freckle Design. I can't wait to find the right place to use this in my faith planner. The other are some stickers from uh, a new shop to me. It's called Personalize My Planner. It's on Etsy. The um, shop owner, Lauren, reached out and wanted to let me know about some of the things that she has available in her shop. Now, I don't know about you, but I have had a really difficult time finding faith stickers, faith-based stickers. Um, for like faith journaling or faith planning, which is why I was so excited to see these stickers in the in her shop. These are um, faith icons. So you've got like little prayer icons, um, little Bible icons, church icons, um, all these different little icons. And they come with different foiling, like gold foiling or ro rose gold foiling, um, silver. It, absolutely adorable. And then also these little quiet time stickers. I think these are so cute and I cannot wait to put these and use these in my planner. Um, really, really adorable. There's some labels here. Um, I would just highly recommend go check out the shop. She also does this super cute thing um, where you can collect when you order from her, you can collect different die cuts. Look how gorgeous these little die cuts are. Um, I do want to put these in my planner, but you've got a little card that you can collect the die cuts. Every time you order, you get a different set of die cuts and you can collect them all. And they are limited edition and they're so cute. So I absolutely love that. I think that is really, really adorable. Um, so I will have her shop listed down below and I also have a 20% um, off, um, no order minimum code that uh, subscribers from Planning Annie can use. I'll have that listed down below. So definitely go check out Personalize My Planner if you're looking for some faith stickers or just some really cute items. This is a great shop to check out. And I am really, really super excited. I'm excited about using the Hobonichi Cousin. I absolutely love to use my little fake pilot vanishing point. This is not a pilot vanishing point <laughs> because that's a lot of money for, um, for a pen. I can't justify it, but I do have this little fake one. Um, and I will have it listed down in the description box below, but I love to use fountain pen on Hobonichi paper. So, um, I'm really excited to get into this planner in 2024, um, to get into a new scripture reading plan, um, and to just have a dedicated space for my morning time, my prayers, my memory keeping, my gratitude, all of that stuff. So very excited about this planner. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the flip through and how I'm going to be using this as a faith journal. I'd love to hear from you. Um, what are you planning to use in 2024 for your scripture study or your faith faith journaling. Um, do you use a specific tool for that? Or do you kind of mix that in with your um, everyday planner? I'd love to hear all of that down below. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe to Planet Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.